Where's the ARC2 news? ARC2 system requirements. And ARC, the animated series streaming platform. You're right, kids, it's Ross Clark, and welcome to your regular ARC community news. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, share around, and let's get into it. So, Community Crunch 307 dropped, revealing nothing. <laughs> well, there was a reminder that Lost Island transfers will be open next week on Friday. It's coming round very, very soon for you now. People unofficial, people will be able to come over to you with all of their tech gear from other maps. Get running, hiding, defending quick. And we did find out the monstrous patch that we got on PC recently is making its way to console next Wednesday. It's coming around very, very soon from guessing all PlayStation and Xbox platforms. How big this is going to be, be warned, this could be huge on console. Considering how big on PC this was, you could be in for a huge patch. Don't know exactly what size this is going to be yet, but fair warning, no time given, sadly, just and once again, we don't know what the changes actually are, though it is mentioned this time around map or level changes, meaning these 70 changes must be map terrain, fixes, mesh holes and such. Is that really all it was? I'd love to know, wildcard, please do just list what these all are. People want to know, 70 is a big number, what has it done? <laughs> Nobody knows. Downloading these huge patches and we've got absolutely no idea what it's doing. And once again, a reminder that there are new sponsored mods and you can apply to be a new sponsored mod, which is quite a fascinating thing to discover. But we covered all that in the last video and I'll leave a link to that in the description. And sadly, no EVO event for you this weekend. Mr. Cedric, lead community manager, did follow up on this with a tweet saying, where's the Art 2 news? Where's the EVO event? Where's Fjorda? I hear you peeps. See you next week. Queuing us all to go, what? Art 2 news is coming very soon. No. <laughs> EVO events coming? Maybe. Fjorda news? Come on. It's definitely coming soon. But none of this means anything at all because Ced does follow up with saying, don't read into this lol he's just saying he's watching we're all desperate for some new news it's been over a month now i'm sure where we haven't received anything new regarding arc and what's upcoming regarding the new maps of course the sequel and the animated tv series which we'll get to in just a moment but fiorda as far as we know is still on track to release in june of this year my bet is that we are going to see this drop on the 10th of june because of course a film comes out jurassic world dominion and the tie-in timing would be beautiful eloquent great time to do it at the same time as a big blockbuster film goes out to the public of course if you don't know that's what arc did originally when they first released this it was around the same time jurassic world premiered itself it's a good time to tie in dinosaurs. It all makes sense. Two and one, one and the same, not really the same. Very different worlds apart, but obviously Ark is very much influenced by Jurassic Park, Jurassic World. So why not? Why not time it to that specific date? So my guess, yes, is 10th of June, we will be seeing this map in its new full official glory, of course, being apparently very different looking from the modded version. Nakatus, the mod map maker developer, has stated that there's going to be a lot of new surprises with this new version of this map. And it seems to be offering a lot, a lot. If Lost Island can offer so many creatures from the DLCs, it looks like this is going to offer a lot of DLC creatures as well, seeing that there are a lot of them in the mod version of the map as well. Of course, as three new creatures, the Andrew Sarkis, the Fjord Hawk and the Desmodus Draculae, three wonderfully created creatures, one of which you voted to be in the map. And the mod map exclusive creature, the Fenrir, will also be in the map as well, meaning you've got at least four brand new creatures coming your way, including a fifth one, but we don't know when that one's going to be released, the Carcharodontosaurus, of which we're really excited to see some visual imagery of that. We have not seen anything about that one. And once again, I do mean it, Fjorda is one of the most gameplay refreshing maps I have played on throughout the six years I've been playing Ark. This is the map that I have enjoyed the most. I can't wait for you all to get stuck in this and it's not too far away. It's only a few months to go. 
just be good to know some new news about it. So, this has been doing the rounds. System requirements for Arc 2. <gasps> Shock, horror, what? Oh, it's out there. We know what our PC needs to run in able to run the new version of Arc 2, including the RAM, the size, the CPU, the GPU. It's all there. I can now prepare myself ready and set to play Arc 2. No. <laughs> Whilst this screenshot here has been doing the rounds across social media recently, I did a little bit of digging because there's a logo there saying PC Game Benchmark. So we went to the source, went to the site. Where is it? There it is. And we can find that same image right here, right there. And if you scroll up, there are no official Arc 2 system requirements yet. This is simply guesswork on what your PC may need in order to run Arc 2. Certainly worth taking with a pinch of salt, or at least some consideration, because Arc 2 is going to be built running on the newest Unreal Engine. And I'm sure whether it's well optimized or not, it's going to be hungry for your system requirements. So it's worth considering what you've got right now to when it comes out. Yes, of course, we don't know when it's actually coming out. And I did a video on that. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well if you want to know when I think R2 is coming out. It's not going to be this year. Mark my words. But yes, if you do not have these system requirements at a bare minimum or you have less than this on your PC and you think you are going to play Arc, I would certainly start thinking about upgrading your PC to be ready for this if you want to play it, of course. And that does also go for Xbox. This will only be on next gen. You will not find this on the previous gen consoles. Same goes for PlayStation 5, though there's some debate on whether you're going to get this at all at this moment, but that's another story for another day. Hello, animated TV series. We've not heard anything about this for a long while either, have we? In fact, the trailer dropped around the same time, in fact, on the same day as Arc 2, and we've not seen anything really new on this either. And if you follow this channel, you will know that Doug the Head, the big Doug of Wildcard, did announce that a platform would be announced very soon, and that was back in November. But it seems there may be a platform picked or not. Justwatch.com, never heard of them, but they have listed HBO Max as the place where you can watch Ark the Animated Series. Now, where they've plucked this information from, who knows, there is nothing else out there. Nobody else is talking about this, apart from this random Justwatch.com site. So, again, we're in a rumour-filled episode today, aren't we? Again, take this with a pinch of salt. It could be a leak, it could be something that they've heard through the grapevine, or they could simply be guessing. And I hope that isn't the case. If it is HBO Max, it's a shame not to see this on something that's perhaps more adopted across the world. It's just, it's not. <laughs> like HBO Max, it's a very US based thing. Yes, we get something over here in the UK. I think we get to adopt it through Sky. And who knows across the country? Go for one of the big winners, Netflix. Amazon Prime, go for one of them that will be able to market your content correctly across everybody. HBO Max is just a bit fugazi when it goes outside the US. Nobody knows what's going on. So let's try and get with something that isn't that. I don't know, this could be completely false, but I just wanted to tell you something about Ark the Animated TV series. Something I can tell you that's factual, Lex and Otis, the team behind the scenes that are making the animation happen of ARC, the animated TV series, they have done something recently that's certainly worth a watch. Well, when I say recently, this came out last year, an animation called Treze, or Trez, one of those, but made by the same team and available on Netflix. Meaning you can go and watch this right here, right now, and get an idea of the animation studio's style when it comes to them delivering arc. It's worth capturing, but besides the point, this is actually really entertaining. I certainly enjoyed watching it through myself. And if this is anything to go by, I think it can safely be said that Ark, the animated TV series, is within the right hands. And I can't wait to see some actual live new footage of that when it comes. And that's your lot for today. I'm sorry it's full of a lot of rumours, but just not a lot to go on this week. <laughs> but if you enjoyed it, comment below, let me know. Are you excited for this and what platform do you think this should be streaming on. My name's Ross Clark. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, ah. Uh
Peace out. Thank you.